Let's have a quick look at how we use G-Step 1 to create a wizard. This is the mapping screen. There are three shapes we use to draw task maps. Navigation point, task, step. The navigation point helps the user find the right task or tasks. We'll call our navigation point manage travel. It'll be the home point for all travel related tasks. The first task will be arrange travel. Now the steps. Step 1, complete a travel request. The step work instruction is called an advise me. G-Step 1 helps draft it by searching for relevant text in my docs, in my Gmail or on the web. For example, clicking in my docs searches all my Google Docs files for useful text and creates a new advise me file called complete travel request. I write the advise me and it's stored automatically in my Google Docs. This A shows that the advise me is attached to this step. Now I link the nav point to the task and the task to the step. Add the other steps. Now I want to attach additional information to step one. Training work instructions, policies and help, and tools by dragging and dropping them from this resources panel. A YouTube video, a policy, a spreadsheet, and a form. I do the same for the other steps. How did the resources get here? Via this window, which links through a web dialog to my knowledge resources in Google Docs, YouTube, Picasa, Maps, and the web, or even locally. Once I've attached my resources to the map, I publish and launch the wizard for testing. And here we are at step one. Here's the advise me from Google Docs. Here's the video on how to use the travel form and the travel policy. And here's the travel cost estimator and the travel request form. Once the step's done, we click next and the wizard moves the task to authorization, then booking and so on. Well, thanks for taking this very quick look at G-Step 1. Remember, the system is free and available right now. Just go to www.gstep1.com to open your account and start mapping. Thanks for watching.